Question number two says that express the given bits in rupees using decimals. So before we start solving each of the bits, we know that there are 100 paise in 1 rupee. So we can write that 100 paise equals 1 rupee. So now if we want to convert paise in rupees, we have to divide paise by 100. So to start with the first bit, we have 7 paise that can be written as rupees 7 over 100 and that comes out to be on division as a decimal which is rupees 0 0.07. Coming to the second bit we have rupees 7 plus 7 paise that can be written as rupees 7 by 100. So that will give us rupees 7.07. 07 as the answer, which is in decimal form because 7 over 100 is 0 0.07. Adding that to 7 gives us 7.07. .07. Similarly, coming to the third bit, we have 77 rupees plus 77 paise. So, converting that into rupees, we write it as 77 divided by 100. So, dividing 77 by 100 gives us 0 0.77. Adding that to 77 gives us rupees 77.77. Now we'll go on to the next set of bits. In the fourth bit, we have 50 paise. So that can be written as rupees 50 divided by 100, and that equals rupees 0 0.5 in decimal form. Now coming to the last bit of this question, which is the fifth bit, we have 235 paise. So that in rupees can be written as 235 divided by 100. And that gives us the answer as rupees 2.35. So this is how we convert paise into rupees. That is by dividing them by 100 because 1 rupee equals 100 paise and so we get the answers in decimal. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.